<laughs> All right, so we're going to begin with the external features. The first external feature is called the tympanum. Those are these large structures right here that look like ears. And really, that's what the tympanum is. It's, it's a really, really simple, primitive ear that these frogs have. You have the eyes. You have the external nares. The external nares are just the openings uh, for the nose. You also have this line that's going down the back of the frog right here. That's called the medial line. So if we're looking at the frog muscular system, remember the back of the frog is the dorsal side. The stomach of the frog is the ventral side. So if we look at the upper body first, and we're looking at the dorsal side, these two large structures right here and right here, that's the latissimus dorsi. These are the big back muscles of the frog. Latissimus dorsi. Where the latissimus dorsi meets the arms, right here, can we all see that? This structure right here is the deltoid, the shoulder muscle. I'm sorry, it's not the deltoid, it's the anconius. So next to the latissimus dorsi, again, we have a muscle right here. This is called the anconius. I think of it like it's in the frog's armpit, kind of like the armpit muscle, anconius. Below the latissimus dorsi, we have some large glute muscles. If you look, there kind of is this big V right here. This muscle right here, that's the V, that's called the coccygeo-iliacus. And that name kind of makes sense because it goes from the coccyx to the ilium, which is why they call it that. On either side of the coccygeo-iliacus, right here and right here, we have the gluteus muscles. You can just call them the glutes, that's fine. The sides of the frog right here, these would be the external obliques, side ab muscles, external obliques. If you're looking at the back of the leg, this big muscle up here, this is called the triceps femoris. The triceps femoris is very similar to our quadriceps. What do you think would be the difference between the triceps femoris and the quadriceps? They have three muscles here where we have how many? Four. So the triceps femoris right here. Right below the triceps femoris, we see this thin muscle right in the middle right here. This is called the vastus externus. Muscle right here in the middle. After the vastus externus, this big muscle on the dorsal side right here, this is the semimembranosus, one of the hamstring muscles right here. And then the muscle on the very, very bottom, it's usually hanging off the bottom of the leg. This is the gracilis minor. If we go to the lower leg, the big calf muscle, that's the gastrocnemius. You should all be familiar with that one. And the muscle that's in the front of the lower leg, but on the dorsal side right here. This muscle right here is called the peroneus. The peroneus. All right, flipping to the ventral side, staying on the lower leg, right next to the peroneus, but on the ventral side here, is a muscle called the extensor cruris. 
the extensor cruis that's on the, um, the ventral side. The inside part of the upper leg is the part I think is the hardest. So on the very, very top here, again, you have the triceps femoris, big muscle on the top here. After the triceps femoris, we have this really thin muscle right here. Let's try to stick the probe in there. You can see I it got kind of torn in half in this frog. The really thin muscle right there, that's called the adductor longus. I'll go around to each group today and I'll make sure that adductor longus is properly dissected out. But it's a small, thin muscle right here underneath the triceps femoris. Underneath the adductor longus, we have the longest muscle in the body. This long muscle right here is the sartorius. Below the sartorius, we have this triangle-shaped muscle right here, shaped like a triangle. This is the adductor magnus, shaped like a triangle. Underneath the adductor magnus, this big muscle right here, the gracilis major, big muscle right under the adductor magnus. And then again on the very, very bottom, we have the Gracilis Minor again. The abdominal muscles, you have Rectus Abdominis. And then if we start at the top, this muscle right here that's below the chin, right on the underbelly of the head. This muscle right here is called the mylohyoid. Mylohyoid is this muscle right here on the chin. Right below the mylohyoid, we have this muscle right here. It's shaped a little bit like a triangle. That's called the sternoradialis. And that kind of makes sense because it goes from the sternum to the radius. <coughs> Sternoradialis. Below the sternoradialis, these muscles right here in the middle, this is called the cutaneous pectoris. Right here. And then going down the sides of the cutaneous pectoris, on either side of the rectus abdominis, we have the pectoralis muscles, right here and right here, pectoralis muscles. You have this muscle right here, it goes to the arm. Muscle right here is the deltoid. So the deltoid and the anconius are very similar, but the anconius is on the back, is on the dorsal side. The deltoid is on the ventral side, it's in the front. Connects to the arm. <coughs> there are only two arm muscles that you need to know. They're both on the dorsal side. The muscle that's closest to the head is called the flexor antibrachii. I know it's a long name. It's the one that's on the dorsal side, closest to the head. And then behind the flexor antibrachii, we have the extensor digitorum communis. Extensor digitorum communis is right behind it. Right here. And I think that's all the muscles, right? Did I miss anything? Did I miss any muscles on there? Nope, and that's it. Good? Mm -hmm.